It's something we all do. We don't necessarily like it, but it's one of those necessary evils. It's that ritual we go through. It keeps us from doing what we came here to do in the first place. A lot of times we find out that we're the last man standing. Everyone else is done and gone while we stand there holding our keys, trying to air down our tires. The pre-trail air down ritual often consists of gauges, Schrader valve removal tools, little uh, air down who's it's and what's it's galore. I mean, I've even seen hoses that are connected to the tires, so they all let down together. Those are preset to zero. You're going to want to watch out for those. Once again, Terraflex has stepped up to eliminate yet another source of Jeeper torment, the Terraflex Nomad Wheel. This work of art not only has powerful form, it has function, and it fills a need. With the twist of one of these attractive red Terraflex knobs, the air pressure is released, but it stops when your personalized preset pressure is reached. Let's go through a quick preset adjustment how-to. Just remove the cap and throw a gauge on the fill stem. Grab a 3 16 Allen, put it in the center of the air release, then twist open the air down port. Now by winding the deflator all the way out to the stop, the process is much quicker, but a few turns works very nicely. If the air stops flowing too soon, you know, say it stops letting the air out at uh, past, say, 20 PSI, just do the lefty loosey turn on the adjustment allow more pressure out. As the pressure drops at a very impressive rate, watch the gauge when it reaches the desired pressure. Turn the Allen wrench in the righty-tighty direction until the air stops gushing out of the release port. Done. Repeat the process on the remaining wheels. Now Dennis, you may ask, what should I set my Nomad wheel air pressure to? I'll tell you what, the Nomad wheel is built for wheeler dudes. It's a tough little wheel. It has an internal bead retainer in there that, that just resists that bead from popping off in the event of a low pressure. Catch a rock right there and have it uh, try to push your bead off. It won't happen. I mean, you can safely air down to 15 PSI. That's, that's low enough for some increased traction and dramatic ride improvement, but it's high enough for that short ride back to town, you know, if you're too lazy to air up. I have my Nomad set to 15 for all of the above reasons. Here's a little trick I use when I set my wheels. As you air down, you'll notice a quick pulsing sound as the air is released. And when that pulsing sound stops and the air, it'll continue to hiss out for a short while until it completely stops. I set my deflators so that when that gushing air sound changes from the pulsing to a slow hiss, I then shut the valve. At that point, the pressure set to 15. If I keep the valve open until all the air has been released, I'm at 13 PSI, which is great for those tougher trails, uh, extreme stuff. And it kind of gives me two settings was one. Now the, the Nomad deflator won't ever let your tire drop to zero. But if you leave it open, it'll stop at your 13, 15 PSI, whatever you set it at. But if you continue to drive on the trail, every time you hit a bump or a rock or whatever, it'll increase the tire pressure and it'll burp a little out, air out of the tire. Now I left mine open one day and I drove the whole trail. They were down to like 8 PSI by the end of the trail. No biggie, but uh, just close them off when you're done. Finally, a strong street legal wheel with a built-in air down solution. The Nomad 17 by 8.5 for your JL or JK Wrangler. You know you want it.